Hello. So we are back. I bought a board. You remember two days ago we made a video about uh, the Huawei the D15, which has a shorted PCH? Well, I read the comments and most of the people say, yes, yeah, sorry, in risk. For that money, you can buy a faulty board and maybe we can fix it. And the board arrived today, like one day later. They sounded very quick. But, you know, people said, uh, sorry, uh, probably they don't test it. Probably they strip the laptop down and they sell the boards. That's how the board came, yeah? So you can see the board was actually checked by three people. And when I say three people, probably are three technicians, yeah? I'm not like, you know what I mean. Now, I I, had, I didn't open the board. I didn't took the shields out. I just have a look, and you can see the, clearly the BIOS chip. Someone resoldered, desoldered that BIOS chip there. I don't know why. So I will, uh, let's strip down the board and analyze the board first. I'm more curious about the... Uh, the CPU and my chipset. Okay, so that's the board. I can't see like someone work on this board. Now, in more the most important thing, yeah? Let's test if we have a shorter CPU or PCH. So we have the multimeter, and you remember this coil was like was like zero ohms, and it was taking like five amps. You remember? So we have thirty-two ohms. You can see on the screen. So I suppose the chipset is good, and the CPU. We have five point six ohms. Here are is the same because are together, and this one, like ten ohms. So I can only assume the CPU is good. Of course, we are not sure about that. We can only assume the CPU is good. The I can't see like to be broken, like has some broken corners of something. But clearly someone work on that BIOS chip. Yeah. So let's try and test it. And uh, see what it's doing. I mean, the board looks good. Yeah. Okay, we have a BIOS. We can program the BIOS on this board. Let's uh, plug a charger and see what's going on here. So we have the USB C. And the charger is not going inside. Huh? It'll be funny to actually to be only a charging port issue. That would be funny. But that means the board should work with a charge battery, right? Because we have the we have the laptop here. But probably the battery is discharged even on that one. Or not. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, let's have a look on the charging port. Why my charger is not going inside? That's strange because the charging port looks good. Yeah? Now you can spot anything. No, the charging port looks fine. Hmm. I swear this looks like someone cut this metal of the, of the from the charging port. That's how it looks. I should get the, the other board. But anyway, it's dead. It's not doing anything. I, I can't see any voltage, nothing. Let's check the voltage. We should have a 5 volts somewhere here. Hmm. 
Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, the charging port looks fine. Okay, so on this one, this is ground. Possible to be ground. But this must be plus, and we have nothing. Here, we have nothing. And here, we have nothing. So I can't see any voltage on uh, from this charging port. That's fine, you know. We don't even care. That's, that's easy. We can replace the charging board after that. Let's connect the battery and see if the board is working. Give me, give me a second and I will uh, get the laptop. Okay, so we took the original board out. Now let's go with this one. And the power button is there. Okay. Let's check the voltage of the battery. And the voltage on the battery is 12 volts. Okay, let's check the voltage here. We have... We have 3.3, yeah? So the 3.3 is present. Okay, let's press the power button. And the CPU is getting hot, I can't believe. The CPU is getting hot. Wow. Actually, this is a working board. Let's plug the screen. Let's connect the heatsink. I mean, this board is fully working. I mean, it's not fully working. It has a faulty charging port. From what I've seen. You know what? I, I should buy every motherboard from this seller. I mean, he has a lot. So how the board was tested by free technicians? Strange. I mean, let's be honest. You'll uh, sell a motherboard with a faulty charging board? Or do you think the people uh, wasn't the technicians? What about if I will sell a motherboard on eBay, you'll buy it from me? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just happy. I can't believe so this board is working. Okay, so we connect the battery. Let's see if we have a picture on the screen. Yeah, that's the fan. We have picture on the screen. That's insane. This motherboard has no issue. You say no boot device. You can see on the screen. Crazy. Lol, I can't believe. So I will share with you <laughs> from where I bought the motherboard because this seller has a lot of motherboards. Uh, eBay. So that's the motherboard I bought it, and the seller has a lot. You can see all those motherboards are from the same seller. You see, you bought this item, you can see here. So I bought this one, and the seller is Cambridge Accessories. Unbelievable. I mean, I didn't expect that. I was expecting, you know, either it has a faulty CPU, or, you know, I a dead EC chip, or, but I didn't expect, like, a charging port issue. Okay? Good. Now let's fix the charging. Yeah, let's fix the charging port. So if I plug the charger, I have no voltage. And uh, the pins are good, yeah? Or are broken pins here. 
are broken pins I can't believe so check here so all pins I don't know if you can see it's tricky so all pins are broken you can see check here so actually the the port is good the pins are broken yeah crazy let's uh, let's resolder this port I'll try with uh, some hot air or wait the trucks are broken yeah every truck is broken on this and this sucks you know wow that's the reason why they listed this board as faulty because here is an insane amount of work trying to rebuild those trucks I mean clearly this is fixable but here you know we need probably like one hour just to rebuild all those trucks uh, you know what I will short this and probably I will edit the video because this will be long okay this will be long so i'll probably edit the video all good so uh, it took me probably a half an hour not more than that so the charging port is fixed and it's working fine i tested you can see the light is coming on and it, it does negotiate the voltage you can see 19 there good now all what we have left here to do is just to apply some uh, you know some uh, UV UV gel and uh, that's all let me get rid of the reflections yeah okay it's not that bad but what you can do more yeah what you can do more so every truck is older is properly on place uh, should be fine yeah let's use some UV gel Should be good, yeah? Okay, it's looking fine. I mean, what do you expect from a 30 pounds motherboard? With a 10 gen Intel uh, CPU. Now the light. We pay 30 pounds, you remember? 29 pounds. I mean, this is a good price for a motherboard with a faulty charging port. And really, really, I should buy them all. But anyway, I have one board for spares. So the customer board, I will keep it. And, uh, oh, I have it for spares, so that I have a good IO chip. And every chip apart from the CPU is good from that board. No, 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 we are not giving back nothing to the customer. We didn't charge the customer for this board. I mean, I took the risk because obviously you cannot. Uh, you cannot, uh, you know, ask the customer for something like that. I mean, what can I say? Sir, can you let me gambling on your money and you can pay for that board? No, you can't say that. So obviously I bought a board for my money 
and uh, the customer has to pay nothing more than the price we agree on the beginning of the repair. Okay? You know what I mean? I mean, if, if it will be, to, because this is a gamble, so you gamble on which money? You cannot gamble on the customer money. So, yeah, I gamble on my money and I won. <laughs> Let's put the shield back. Let me grab this shield because this is better, like quality speaking. The laptop is working, yeah? Yeah, and we don't have like BIOS password, which is great. That's what I was checking next, if we have a BIOS password. So everything seems to be fine. Unplugging the charger is still working. Mouse, keyboard is working. Yeah, everything is working fine, yeah? Good. <sighs> it's getting like 800 milliamps, but I suppose the battery is fully charged because that's what the customer said. The battery was fully charged. So we'll leave the laptop run on the battery to discharge the battery and check if it's charging. But I believe this laptop is fixed and I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy we fix uh, we fix the, the customer laptop. <laughs> I swear I didn't expect that, that board actually to work. I expected exactly the same fold. And when I seen the board like Oh, three people test this board. <laughs> it's like, you know, I said, okay, I lost the money. 30 pounds. That's the life. But no, it was a charge importation. Crazy. Insane. Insane. So the fan is spinning. Everything seems to be okay. Yeah? Everything seems to be fine. It's a working board. Okay, I will stop this video. This is, this is my second experience buying faulty motherboards from eBay. You remember the first one was a shorter capacitor and now was a charging port. So uh, this give me hope for the future, yeah? So definitely I will try it again to buy faulty boards from, uh, from eBay. Okay? So I'll stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video like always. And I'm really sorry. I didn't have the, the live stream in this morning morning with the coffee because the board arrived and I was curious to see what's going on with the board. But anyway, let's have the coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. Let's have the coffee tomorrow. So have a great weekend and see you on the next one. Bye.